another beautiful sunny day in Northridge, California. Uh, we're, what block are we on now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Straight block. Uh, just shooting some more photographs. This is a, uh, an old, old camera my aunt gave me. Uh, she got it for Christmas quite a few years ago and it's some Walgreens type film in there. And uh, I mean, there were six photographs taken on there. So, you know, I'm gonna shoot the other 18, develop it. And uh, if they're not nasty, you can see what they are. But we're just walking around some more street photography, um, going around, seeing anything beautiful, trying to capture the exceptionally cool. So this grass out here is shaking and moving because of the wind. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna slow down my shutter speed and open up my, close down my iris to balance out the light and try to get the grass kind of moving with some of that motion. So we were on our walk taking some photographs around Northridge and this is actually one of the first film cameras that was trying to be battery powered, it's a hybrid. And uh, I cleaned out like 20 years worth of corrosion out of the battery and uh, put some new ones in, but it died about four photos too early. So uh, I just took the roll out, we're gonna develop it, go home, see what we got, um, kind of talk about the photos from there. It seems like a lot of my photography is contained within the suburbs. I think there's really unique interactions between where people live and how they treat the surrounding spaces. It kind of gives you an insight into their human nature. And I think that's the best way for me to describe the feeling these photos give. They're these secret little insights that are, you know, only there for a day. And with those little intimate moments are the projected stories that us, the viewers, give to them. To me, this is a little kid who had to run inside for a pee break and is about to learn a very hard lesson about theft. Now, that's not an admission of guilt, but I think it's really interesting how that's the first thing that comes to my mind. And you, as a different viewer with a different background, is going to project different stories onto this. Something from your past or history that's going to inform the way you view art. But I guess that's all art really is. Now, as promised, here are the photographs that my aunt took that have been previously residing on this film for the last 20 years. Um, although the uh, shutter indicator showed me that there were six photographs, after developing there were only really three that were visible. The very first, and my personal favorite, is this photographs of leaves through the sun. I think there was some insane light leak that happened that gives it this cool golden vibe radiant. The other two were of some flowers and an out-of-focus spider, but I thought it was interesting that I also took this photograph of the rose on the same film stock. It seemed like they fit with the theme, and I thought it was quite funny. I think that photographs are meant to be shown in series under a unifying theme, and I think it's cool that the theme fit together pretty well over the course of 20 years. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you soon.